Money can buy you a lot of things, but immortality isn't one of them. And to the wealthy on our list, their wealth was sometimes their downfall. Here are some of the mysterious circumstances where the rich have met their maker, kicked the bucket, and crossed over the rainbow bridge. Naturally, we've included one of the most talked about mysteries on the web right now, so stick around for that one. And of course, we want to know your theory on who done it. Welcome to Alux.com the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Let's lift the veil of mystery and delve into these case files of 15 rich people that died in mysterious ways. Number one, Michael Rockefeller. Michael is the great-grandson of John D. Rockefeller, the man who held the title of the richest man in the world in the early 1900s. His father was Nelson Rockefeller, a businessman and politician who in the 1970s was the vice president of the USA. Michael took a trip to New Guinea for anthropology research, where he went missing. The build-up to the actual time he went missing was not ideal. On November 17, 1961, he was in a dugout canoe three miles from shore in what is now the Papua region of Indonesia. He was with a Dutch anthropologist, René Wassing, and two local guides. The boat was swamped and overturned. The guides swam for help while Michael and René clutched onto the drifting boat. It drifted about 12 miles from shore when Michael decided to try to swim to safety and was never seen again. Theories swirl around about his demise. Was he eaten by a saltwater croc or a shark? Some say exposure and exhaustion got the better of him. Others vehemently believe that cannibal tribes attacked him and ate him as revenge for the earlier Dutch interference they had encountered. The details get rather swampy and many books and movies have been made about the mystery. Michael's mother hired a private investigator to go to New Guinea, and he supposedly came back with skulls from the cannibals. But other accounts refute this, and the Rockefellers are famous for keeping mum about their family affairs. If you'd like to find out some more about the Rockefellers, be sure to check out our dedicated video all about them. Number 2. Don Lewis, aka Carol Baskin's second husband. Hey there, you cool cats and kittens. It's time to dive into this royal cat fight that the world is more divided on than social distancing. The story goes that Carol Baskin's second husband, the very wealthy Jack Donald Lewis, known as Don Lewis, disappeared on August 18, 1997. The couple had set up and run the Wildlife on Easy Street Animal Sanctuary in Tampa, Florida. But Don Lewis flitted between there and Costa Rica where he owned land and ultimately planned to settle. It should be noted he wasn't a faithful partner and had affairs during all of his relationships. In the weeks and months before he disappeared, he had made it known to friends and loved ones he was planning to split from Baskin and also that he feared for his life as she had threatened him and owned guns. He even filed a restraining order against her. The day he went missing, he got up early and left in a truck and was never seen again. In 2002, he was declared legally dead, leaving $5 million in assets behind. Joe Exotic, Carol's arch nemesis and the Tiger King, has been vocal about his theory that Baskin killed Don Lewis, put him through a meat grinder, and fed him to the Tigers. There are many angles, loopholes, and theories to go through here, but we'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Number 3. Marilyn Monroe On August 5, 1962, the world woke up to the sad news that Marilyn Monroe had passed away. America's sweetheart was taken at just the age of 36 years old in her L.A. home. The cause of death was a barbiturate overdose and was ruled a suicide. But while Monroe was laid to rest, rumors ran wild about what really happened. To this day, the CIA maintains the files on Monroe's death, so the true story is unknown. The secrecy only leads to more frenzied theories. Monroe was possibly involved in extramarital affairs with both John F. Kennedy and his brother Robert F. Kennedy. Many people believe that this compromising position with the Kennedy brothers is what led to her being murdered. According to witnesses, there are many items missing from her house, which was also suspicious. There were also links to mafia retaliation and even that the overdose of sleeping pills was accidental. Number 4. Princess Diana We couldn't have a list of mysterious deaths without mentioning Lady Di. Her death in 1997 was a tragedy caused by her car crashing with a pillar in a tunnel in Paris while being chased by paparazzi. The driver, Diana, and her partner, Dodi Fayed, all died. After extensive investigation, it was ruled that the driver, Henri Paul, was responsible for the crash. He was drunk and on antidepressants when he lost control of the speeding Mercedes. 
But this wasn't a widely accepted view. Many still believe the crash was staged as Diana had expressed fears that she would be murdered. The mystery continues. Number 5. Anton Yelchin Anton Yelchin is the beloved, smiley-faced actor that graced our screens in the roles of Pavel Chekhov in the rebooted Star Trek films. When he didn't arrive for rehearsal on June 18, 2016, his friends went to look for him at his house in California. They found him pinned between his Jeep Grand Cherokee and a pillar already dead. The cause of death, blunt traumatic asphyxia. According to what investigators could surmise, he left his car to check the gate had locked. The car rolled back down the steep driveway and crushed him. No foul play was suspected. Many fans don't accept this explanation. In an Instagram post, Lindsay Lohan blamed hashtag Hollywood for Yelchin's death, which might be a bit broad to lead to an arrest, but it's a start. Yelchin is the first member of the 27 Club on our list. Stick around to find out who else is part of this eerie club. Number 6. Kathleen Peterson In 2001, the wife of writer Michael Ivor Peterson was found dead. Kathleen Peterson was found in a pool of blood at the bottom of the stairs of her home by her husband, Michael. The 911 call he made set off the most intriguing murder case on this list. In 2003, Michael was convicted with the murder, but always maintained his innocence. Finally, in 2017, after taking the Alford plea to manslaughter, he was freed on time already served. But the road to his release was paved in mysterious and fanciful theories, including blaming an intruder, losing balance, and an owl chasing Kathleen. Many books, news reports, and even a Netflix series have featured the case, but none with a conclusion on what exactly happened to Kathleen that night. Number 7. Robert Johnson this one's a doozy. Robert Leroy Johnson was an American blues singer-songwriter who supposedly sold his soul to the devil at a local crossroads to achieve musical success. That's not even the strangest thing about his life. We're here to talk about his death, though. On August 16, 1938, at just 27 years old, Robert Johnson left his life, and his untimely death gave him membership into the 27 Club, but more on that later. His death certificate only states the date and place of death. No formal autopsy was done. A dead black man found on the side of the road near a farm wasn't a concern to police at the time, and no immediate cause of death was listed. Theories from syphilis to jealous husbands seeking revenge were explored by historians. The jealous husband supposedly poisoned Johnson with a laced bottle of whiskey. This theory was corroborated by a historian who tracked down the man who poisoned Johnson and confessed to the crime. Then in 2006, Dr. David Connell came out with a theory that Johnson suffered from Marfan syndrome, which would account for his unnaturally long fingers and one bad eye. This would mean that the physical attribute that made him a great musician also led to an early death. This case has never been closed. Number 8. Edmund Safra When Edmund Safra died in a fire, it made headlines all over the world. The well-known banker and philanthropist from a long line of billionaire banking family was at home in Monaco when the fire broke out. His two nurses were on the property at the time but were unable to save him. Safra had holed up in a bedroom to get away from the fire but ultimately suffocated before firemen could free him. The bathroom was behind a camouflage door that blended into the wall. Oh, what a downfall some luxuries can be. After an investigation, it was clear the fire was intentional and Safra's nurse, American Ten Mayer, was fingered for the crime. It later came out he wanted to heroically save Safra to receive the credit. The fire quickly got out of control and his plan failed and he ended up with eight years behind bars for the crime. Number 9. Ashraf Marwan when an Egyptian billionaire fell to his death from his apartment, there were more motives than an Agatha Christie plot. Ashraf Marwan died in 2007 in London after unexplainably falling from his balcony. He had incredible wealth, so we have jealousy. He was married to the daughter of Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser, so we have revenge. He spied for Israel during tense years between Egypt and Israel, so you can add espionage to the mix too. How's that for plenty of leads for the Bobbies to follow? However, to date, his death remains a mystery. Number 10. Tupac Shakur The mid-90s hip-hop scene was like the Wild West in terms of gunslinging. The feud between East and West Coast battles, and in particular, Tupac and Biggie Smalls, eventually led to both of their demise. 
He had 11 platinum albums and his net worth was $40 million at the height of his career. In 1996, on September 13th, Shakur died after being shot in a drive-by in Las Vegas. His enemies on the East Coast were the main suspects, but to this day, no arrests have been made. And if you'd like to find out some more about the well-moneyed scene of rappers, why not check out our video all about it? Number 11. Dmitry Obratetsky While walking his dog in Surrey, England in December 2019, Dmitry Obratetsky was hit by a car and later died in hospital. His company is the official distributor of Nestle and Mars, which has amassed him billions of dollars and was thought to have high political influence. His death in a quiet rural area seems shady, so sleuths took to the internet to uncover some rather unflattering connections. Obratetsky's business partner was recently extradited over claims he conned his workers out of 26 million rubles in his native Volgograd. Police are appealing to the public for information because the circumstances seem unfortunate. Number 12. Natalie Wood Natalie Wood was a Hollywood actress married to Robert Wagner. On the night of November 28, 1981, along with her co-star in the film Brainstorm, Christopher Walken, the couple were moored near Catalina Island on board Wagner's yacht, Splendor. The only other person on board the ship was the captain, Dennis Daver. Wood went missing during the night while the others reportedly were asleep. At 8 o'clock the next morning, her body was recovered by authorities a mile away from the yacht. Her death was ruled accidental drowning, but the autopsy report listed bruising and cuts on her body that were not related to her death. It also found that Wood's blood alcohol content was 0.14%, with traces of a motion sickness pill and a painkiller. Over the past 40 years, the case has been revisited several times, with many theories being posed, from thieves in the night to domestic squabbles or affairs being offered as motive. In February 2018, Wagner was named a person of interest in the investigation. He was never formally charged and has always maintained his innocence. Number 13. Jean Benet Ramsey Jean Benet Ramsey is one of the most mysterious cases on this list. It starts with a kidnapping and ends with a body being found in the same house it was taken from. In 1996, this six year old beauty pageant child went missing from her bed while at home asleep in her family's Colorado home. A ransom note demanded $118,000 from her parents in exchange for Jean Bonnet's safe return. Eight hours later, her parents decided to look in the basement of their home and found their daughter's body. The case has taken many twists. At first, the parents were accused, then her brother. Years later, John Mark Carr admitted to killing Jean Bonnet, but DNA showed it wasn't a match and he was later released. The case still remains one of the wildest childhood murders ever. Number 14. Mozart One of the most famous composers of all time had a very untimely death indeed. In 1791, when Mozart was 35, he began to have a swollen stomach and emit a foul odor. By December, he was bedridden and delirious. His doctor did a common bleeding ritual, too grim to get into here, and applied a cold cloth to his forehead. A few days later, he died. The diagnosis was miliary disease, a type of tuberculosis, but his wife and many others believed he was poisoned because before his death, Mozart announced, I know I must die. Someone has given me aquatofana, a compound of arsenic and other toxins, and has calculated the precise time of my death, for which they have ordered a requiem. It is for myself I am writing this. The person he pointed the blame at was rival composer Antonio Salieri. Salieri denied any involvement. He even sent a student to Mozart on his deathbed to tell him he had no part in any poisoning. The other persons of interest were the Freemasons, who had a gripe with Mozart for revealing their secret symbolism in the magic flute opera he wrote. Syphilis was also accused, but Mozart's adoration and commitment to his wife and his work left little time for extramarital activities. Undercooked pork was also considered a suspect, which can lead to trichinosis from a parasite. The composer's death still remains a mystery, with Mozart's skeleton being lost along with his medical records. Number 15. Honey and Barry Sherman In 2018, when Honey and Barry Sherman were found in their basement pool area with a leather belt around their neck, detectives first considered it a murder-suicide. But things didn't add up the way they were positioned, and that Barry was untouched, but Honey showed other injuries. 
the couple were in their 70s. The family were angry that suicide had been implied and wanted the police to immediately investigate the scene as a murder. Barry Sherman amassed his fortune by founding Apotex, a very successful pharmaceutical company. His net worth was $3 billion, according to Forbes, but people closer to the couple estimated it to be around $10 billion. The family lawyered up to prevent any information with regard to the Sherman's will being made public as is customary. They opened a tip line and offered a $10 million reward for information leading to an arrest. Tension between the family and police might have been the reason not all tips were investigated. It's hard to know. The case remains unsolved, and the long list of suspects who had beef with the Shermans seems to keep growing. And Aluxers, here we are at the end. What are your theories on these mysterious deaths? And most importantly, where do you think Don Lewis is? Let us know in the comments. For sticking with us until the end though, here's your bonus. We promise to tell you what the 27 Club is, so let's do it. There's a growing number of famous singers and actors who've all died at 27 years old. We mentioned Anton Yelchin and Robert Johnson, but there are many more. Amy Winehouse died in 2011 in her London home from alcohol poisoning. Kurt Cobain died of suicide in 1994. Jim Morrison, Jimi Hendrix, and Janis Joplin all died from drug overdoses. And Brian Jones, the original lead singer of the Rolling Stones, drowned in his swimming pool, all aged 27. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.